A cumulative relative frequency plot is really a graphical display of percentiles. They're also called ogives. So if you look at each of the X coordinates here, they represent a length in millimeters of ants. And the Y coordinate is what proportion of ants or what percentage of ants are less than that measurement. So when we want to know what percent of ants are less than 10 millimeters in length, we just go to 10 millimeters and then follow this over to the corresponding Y value and we get 80%. Now ogives tell us a lot of information. If you look at the really steep slope here in the middle, the steeper slope, what that tells us is a large percentage of the ants that the scientists measured were between eight and 10 millimeters. We know this because they contributed a lot to the cumulative relative frequency. In fact, about 55% of the ants were between eight and 10 millimeters. So a steep slope means lots of contribution to the cumulative relative frequency at those particular ant lengths. So next, we want to know what was the length of the longest ant she measured. If we follow this all the way up until we get to 100%, it looks like 100% of the ants were 12 or less millimeters in length. So the largest ant she measured when it bumped from here to here to 100% was at 12 millimeters. In the last part, we're trying to figure out if there's outliers in the data. Now to find outliers, we use the 1.5 IQR rule. So we need to determine the IQR. IQR is quartile three minus quartile one. So quartile three is the ant length that cuts off the lower 75% of ant lengths. So if we go to 75% about right here, and we just go over until we find where it intersects the ogive, it looks like about here, which corresponds to a value of maybe 9.75 millimeters. Quartile one is what cuts off the lower 25% of uh, ant lengths. So if we go to 25%, that one's dead on. It looks like it's at eight millimeters. So subtracting these two values, we get an interquartile length of 1.75 millimeters. We need to multiply that by 1.5. So 1.5 IQRs is 2.625 millimeters. Now let's check for lower outliers. To do that, we're going to look for any lengths that are at least 1.5 IQRs below quartile 1. So quartile one is eight, and when we subtract our 1.5 IQRs, we end up with 5.375 millimeters. Now looking up here, we're at zero at six millimeters, meaning there's no ants below six millimeters in the data set. So we have no lower outliers. Now let's check for upper outliers. To be an upper outlier, you have to be at least 1.5 IQRs above quartile three. So we'll take quartile three and add 1.5 IQRs and we get 12.375. Now in part B, we said the longest ant she measured was 12 millimeters. So we have no upper outliers either. If you like this video, check out my normal distribution playlist. It covers things like z-scores and normal calculations, percentiles and ogives. It's a great way to prepare for the AP stats exam.